end of the area, I guess. End of that section of the area. Oh, fuck me. Oh my god, okay. This is long. This is really long. Oh, fucking Christ. Another one of you? Combo! Yoink. There's just so many of these massive, like, mini boss enemies that are now just roaming around. Oh, this looks nice and tough. Yeah, not using that. <laughs> okay, so we want to go. We want to glance left and then we're going right and first try again. That's why we glance left, but we already lost that blue, so it's fine. Hello, more of you guys. I am shocked. This one will be difficult to predict. I don't mind how long ago. I can't get out of this. You pick the wrong. Nothing gets by me. You escape. They come. I shall provide a system. And lose the deity. Another Everyone one bites the dust. Enough. Another one bites the dust. And another one down, and another one down. Another one bites the dust. Don't get careless. Oh, no. Don't tell me. I should. No, no further. Crumble. Talent is for a blade. Elusive Where are you going? Take it. Pesky airborne scoundrel. Sounds like a drop Prepare to be sealed, though. found the more appropriate. Let's talk in more in a vine. Ignite! I can't hear you forever. Far enough! Eagle Destruction! They might the won't save you! Destruct this! I'll tear you apart! Rising Wyvern! I'm not Do it! Astral energy! Say no more! Resonate with the earth! My turn! You're mine! Oh, 
An admirable display of force. An admiral? I can't even swim. Yeah, never mind. healing arts. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> Just looking in the door and it's, oh, look at that, it's another massive monster. Oh, Jesus, fuck. Jesus, fuck. Oh, man. I hope I was long enough to regret this. It can hide itself? Amazing! Where are you going? Can you take it? Burn! Here's a healing I don't know what I'm doing about you. A thrilling Perhaps now isn't the time? I really don't. The fluidity of your movements is simply incredible. This should do so much more damage than it does, man. That should do a ton of damage. Oh boy, I sure hope there isn't another mini boss. Oh, good. This one will be difficult to predict. Ever saw any other character doing their limit breaks? Would be really cool. 
really cool if we ever saw another character do anything. What have we got? Dragon blood times two. Uh, okay, I'm there, so I want to be going straight on this way. I really feel like they should have at least changed up which mini bosses it is. Because, like, the fact that this is the fourth time or something that we've fought this thing in the last ten minutes is getting pretty old. It is getting a little bit old. And by a little bit, I mean a lot of it. Okay, so one of these guys really don't mess around. Oh, good, we're gonna lose the blue thing immediately. How are we just going through these consumables, man? This is crazy. This is actually nuts how quickly we're going through all of this. Rare plate, a one-of-a-kind masterpiece made by a master craftsman. Complex calculations and fine artistry were combined to draw out its defensive potential. Very nice. Do you... S no, not that. That's... Do you still not have a good other thing? No. Uh, right, next we are going uh, straight on. 
Who's ready to fight another big creature that's the same as the last five? <laughs> oh, me, 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 me. There it is. It's another big creature. Woo! Yeah, baby! That's what I'm talking about. How does that deal no fucking damage? Bearing fruit. Grab some of this. Holy shit, that's a lot of stuff. And then off over here. Oh, goody. It's another invisible boy, but with two fucking dickheads this time. Yeah. Hey. You picked the wrong fight. Come on, how did that not trigger his fucking blue thing? I'll crush you! <laughs> Lightning reflexes! Tenebrous claw! Donk. Here's the healing You must be tired of healing me. I'm merely doing what I can. Not today! Glad you're on up. Go for it. Rising wiper! What a relief! A thrilling performance! Elusive deity! You're mine! Inferno! This one's mine! What is it? Why I press that button? Now you see what I can do. In a bind. Swallow blade. Swallow blade. Slash. Swallow blade. Elusive fear. Swallow blade. Slash. I must remember my limits. I never miss. Ready to go. In front of Water, hear my call. Here I go. 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 
Oh man. I was trying to zone the fuck out then. That's not good. Oh boy, man. They, okay, this is just this is just a bit ridiculous, isn't it? Like it's just the same mini bosses over and over and over again. Um, it, it's it's so like been there done that that I literally just was like my brain just went wandering when I was in the middle of that fight. See what happened there as you crossed me. Shouldn't have done that. Take your strike! Eon! Astral energy! Full throttle! I'll crush you! Lightning reflexes! Something something claw! And nobody cares. Holy shit, we're having to burn through so many of these. Where were my heels at? Box elemental cape, a rare cape containing earth, water, fire, and wind astral energy, with each element requiring a different art formula, a different art formula to embed onto the fabric. And thus, our strength yet grows. Okay, so out of here and then left. Man, we're almost out of food buff as well, and I don't, don't believe there's any way we can possibly refresh that. Oh. Hello. Well, this is going to be a mini boss. Let's go. There's no way it's the end boss already. No shot. What do you think this place was for? Ah! Uh. <laughs> You know, chilling. <laughs> what the hell? Are they asleep? No. They appear to be well preserved. However, they are all dead. Dead? So this is a mass grave? Looks that way. However, none of them appear to be Helganquil. 
Bear in mind that Renans were originally Danans, who were remade and sent to live on Lenigus. Knowing that, they would have needed a place to perform the procedure somewhere. Guess we and found that it. Place is here, I assume. So what you're saying is that all of these are Danon, or rather, Renan bodies? Most likely, yes. They must have been abandoned for one reason or another. There are so many of them. They were all taken away, but never given the chance to wake. F. But, uh, what is the boss? Hang on, is there anything back here? Nothing? Boo, that would have been a great place to hide something. Ah, fuck, here we go. What are we doing? Nice. Oh, great. What is that thing? No idea. Something we have to fight if we want to get across, it seems. Hello. Be careful. It's huge. Notice that, yeah. Well, at least it's something different. What is with us? What level are we now? Have we leveled up at all? We're up to 48. What were we? We we were only 47 to start with, right? So I think we've got up one level. This is this is level 55. Man, what the fuck? Why is everything so fucking over leveled? Like, we did almost every side quest in the game, and we're still this far under leveled. That's insane. A huge lumbering beast lately. No ordinary suit. That much is damn sure. Watch yourself. All bets are off when it comes to this thing. In a bind? Not today. Come on, Aurora. head is weak point. We'll need to bring it down somehow to hit it. In that case, let's start with the one in the middle. Here I come. Well, there's half health. Take this! Great 
Angel Spear. Here's the evil. I'll smash you! Let's tear him up! Rise and You may be strong, but I'll never back down! I'll finish you here and now! Heal, please! Heal, please! Heal, please! Thank you. Fuck me. I'm sorry. Where are you going? Rise and Come here. Here comes the big one! Yonk. Uh oh, uh oh, I don't like that. What's that? What the fuck just. What was that? And you're dead. Astral energy. Say no more. Whew. Wowie. The hell was that thing? Probably something that was made here and somehow managed to survive, even after all this time. Not that there's any way of knowing now. <sighs> What's wrong? Oh, I just suddenly found myself contemplating what might have happened to the sovereigns that were meant to emerge from the crown contests. What do you mean? You see, the winners of the past crown contests were all strong astral arts practitioners. Furthermore, that enemy we just fought appeared to be composed of several human bodies. It was certainly nothing one would find in nature. You're saying those were the remains of the winners? That they forgot who they once were? Yeesh. I'm merely saying it's a possibility. That's absolutely gruesome. How long had the Helganquil been at this? It was Rena's great spirit that made them do all of this. Anything to get its astral energy. <sighs> We're not gonna jump down, right? I certainly hope 49. Not. After hearing Dolum's suggestion, I'm honestly not sure what to say. I assure you all, I was merely stating the possibility. Renner's biology. So, looks like the Helganquil have been engineering Zoogles too. Why doesn't that surprise me at this point? The creatures we've been encountering here have been a little different to what we're used to fighting, but I'm pretty sure they're Zoogles too. Do you think they were engineered using creatures native to the area? Indeed. However, based on the current circumstances, I would guess these Zoogles are all that's left of the planet's fauna now. You mean... There might have been native owl species here once upon a time, too. They all got killed. Ripperoni. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Anything hiding around the sides? This one? Nope. And the other one? Oh, yeah, there actually is. All right. Pineapple gel. Nice. Okay. Can we interact with anything? Nope.
double check. Surface? Huh. We're back in that other room? Did the teleporter fail or something? Something feels off about it. Look! Everything's upside down! The furnishings are at least. No, you're oh, right. Oh, what? The whole room's flipped on its head. So what was down is now up, and vice versa. I suppose the teleporter reversed our orientation then. Okay, that's weird. <laughs> the teleporter to the entrance is now active. What does that do for me? Because you can't... There's no... There's no way of... What was the X? There's no way of actually, like... Resting up here or anything, is there? Uh, I guess you can go to Volcano and rest there? Because, like, our food buff's about to run out, so maybe we should do that? I feel like maybe definitely we should do that. <laughs> you know, just leaving Renner. No big deal. We should <laughs> Gotta... be able to cook here. We, ha we have to literally go to a different planet just to make a small campfire. Seems legit. Highly legit. W why are you staring at me? I could ask the same thing. So this is how the Sovereign and Maiden are supposed to look. You two go great together. Law, come stand between us. Oh, sure. You want me to put something white on as well? Of course she doesn't. Take a closer look, Shion. It's a miracle. What are you talking about? This outfit. It's already got blue accents on it. <laughs> so I see. The joys of eating. I love how much amazing food we get to eat even when we're out on the road. Me too. Especially compared to what I used to have when I was still a slave. This is paradise. It's amazing what good food can do to keep your hopes up. Nagal used to say all the time that the power of food is subtle yet profound. Yeah. Ain't that the truth? For whatever reason, I find I don't worry nearly as much when I've got a full stomach helping me out. That's why you shouldn't be such a picky eater. Huh? She's right. You always leave food that you don't like on your plate when you're done. Come on, what's the big deal? Back in the day, I couldn't think about leaving any food. It was such a waste not to eat at all. You needed every last scrap of energy. Exactly. Even when my brother and I didn't have much to eat, we all did what we could to make it taste good and enjoy what we had. That definitely explains a lot about why you cook the way you do, Kisara. Doholi, I bet you don't know what any of that's like. You must be used to food being handed to you on a silver platter. Sometimes it was gold. You didn't shy away from that at all. <laughs> Although, there was one experience that does come to mind. Oh? When I first learned that the food I ate originally came from animals and fish, I was rather taken aback. You just oh? ate whatever was in front of you without even thinking about it? That's a silver spoon to lead for you. Zealous taste testing. Your cooking has really improved, Xion. It's because of you that I understand what makes it so fun. I'm glad everyone seems to enjoy what I make, too. I've noticed a disturbing trend that after it's your turn to cook, our ingredients tend to run really low. What's up with that? <laughs> that is a good point, Law. There's a weird difference between the amount of ingredients she prepares and how much food actually gets served. Curious. Very curious indeed. I don't know. Isn't it pretty normal for veggies to shrink a little when you fry them up? Or maybe she eats all the bad batches herself so we won't notice. Come on, I wouldn't do anything like that. Then how would you explain the difference? <clears throat> I have a theory that I wish to propose. What is it? 
As we all know, Xion here can have quite the appetite. I imagine she often taste tests her own food as she prepares it. By my eye, it would appear that her footprints are leaving deeper impressions as of late. Far be it from me to level such an accusation, but the facts lead me to conclude that... She's been snacking while she cooks. And yet, she still looks so slender in her clothing. Yeah, I'm kind of envious, actually. Wait a sec, are you guys trying to say she's... I'm what? Uh, nothing. Nothing. Nothing? <laughs> the Injured Immortal. Shion, about that fight just now. Sorry about that. I was careless. I didn't come to criticize you. Just please take better care of yourself. You don't need to worry about me. In case you forgot, I can't exactly die anyway. It's like how you used to not care about getting beat up because you couldn't feel pain. And then I was the one to patch you up. It's the same thing. You're right. That is how I used to be. But this isn't the same. Then what do you mean? How is what's happening now different from what happened then? It's different now. Look, if you mean because you can feel pain again, I... It's because I don't want to see you getting hurt. <sighs> You're right. Aww. When I couldn't feel any pain, I put myself in all sorts of dangerous situations. I didn't listen to anybody's warnings. And I made a lot of people worried for no good reason. It was foolish. This isn't about you and me being able to take pain. I... I don't want to have to see you get hurt, Xion. It's too much for me to take. Is that a crazy thing to say? No, it isn't. And I... I definitely don't like seeing you get hurt either, Alfin. We can't expect our enemies to show us any mercy. But I will do my best not to throw myself in harm's way out there either. How does that sound? I'm sorry if I sounded harsh earlier. I didn't mean to. I just really want you to take better care of yourself. I will. At least for as long as I can. Nice. Yes. Um... Honestly, I think it might be time for the... <laughs> the... Where is it? The final XP boost. I think it might be time for the final XP boost food, because we are going through killing a whole lot of shit. And, like, we're right at the end of the game, right? So it's kind of now or never. So let's do that. Thanks for waiting. Eat as much as you like. Lovely jubbly. 13 minutes. Oh. It's Kisara or Shion. Again, I'm faced with this choice where I, I would like to talk to Kisara, but I feel like Shion's obviously more story relevant. Like, we are now the fucking maiden and the um, sovereign, so I should probably hear what she has to say, right? Shion, could we talk a moment? <sighs> mm. I thought you had something to talk about. I was waiting on you. Not really. Why? Should I leave you alone when I don't? No, it's fine. We used to really have to force these conversations when we started talking to each other, didn't we? To say the least. <laughs> Hey. What is it? Do you think you'd like to make something together? Make what exactly? Just if you wanna... Just if you wanna make dinner together. What did you think I meant? Huh? Dinner? <laughs> uh... Oh! Oh! Dinner! Yes! Oh! Yes, of course! Dinner! Right. What did you think I was talking about? No, it's nothing. Don't worry about it. <clears throat> anyway, what did you have in mind? Well, do you recognize these ingredients? This is... Wait, is this? So you remember? That's right. We're going to fix the very first meal we ever had together. Although, I remember it not being well received when we had it. You still remember that, huh? 
<laughs> I'm sorry, Xion. I'm just teasing you, Alfin. I picked this recipe because it's easy to make, and I thought it would be a good choice for dinner, too. Anyway, let's get to work. With both of us making it, we should be finished in no time. I never thought we'd end up eating alone like this again. Just the two of us. Yeah. So much has changed when you look back on it. Well, I guess maybe not what we're eating, but still. No, I'd say even that's changed too, in a sense. Our meals are a whole lot better now. True. We've both come quite a long way in the culinary arts. That's not exactly what I mean. How do I put it? It feels like eating together is a lot more enjoyable than it used to be. Yeah, I get what you mean. Even after our battles are done, when Dana is saved and our mission is finished, we'll probably still be sitting down to dinner like this, night after night. Yep, I doubt that much will change. You've always got to eat at some point. I hope our dinners will always feel like this. Maybe not exactly like this. Hopefully we won't still be camping out. Oh, no, not at all. I meant in a nice, warm house. One with a roof over our heads and a proper fireplace, instead of an open campfire. And real chairs instead of these logs? Nice plates and silverware on a big dining table. Oh, and a proper kitchen. That'd be nice, too. That would and be. when it's time to fix dinner, we'll be in that kitchen. Standing side by side. Oh. <laughs> Whoops. Looks like we made too much. <laughs> They're so cute. I don't think we'll be able to finish all this. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I'll see if anybody else is still awake. I'd really hate to have to throw it away. Side by side, huh? That's so fucking cute. I think it's time we go to sleep. Do -do 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 -do. Master Art Xion Explosive Charge. Come on, guys. We've got sure. lots to do. We do, but it will have to occur in the next part. That is where we will leave it for today. I imagine that was like... It was like a mid-boss, right? So I imagine that was like halfway through the dungeon. Uh, and so when we return, we will do the other half, and then I guess that's going to lead into the final boss, and then we're done? I, I guess? I don't know. We will see. We will see how it goes, but it certainly feels like... We are very near the end. This dungeon is pretty, pretty, uh, pretty girthy though. I'm not, not a huge fan of how you take two steps and it's a massive monster that you've killed a bunch of times before that takes like five minutes to kill. And then you kill it and you walk another two steps and surprise, it's another massive monster <laughs> that takes five minutes to kill. And then you kill it two more steps, another massive monster, etc. So, not not a huge fan of that, but uh, I am definitely enjoying the fact we are exploring Renner. Uh, or at least this facility under underneath it, seeing as the, the surface is pretty pretty destroyed. But uh, yeah, I feel like they could have done a better job with enemy variety and definitely lessening the amount of, you know, just huge HP, you know, uh, damage sponge enemies. In that, in that dungeon, but I guess they're trying to make it feel epic for the end, but I feel like that actually kind of takes away from the epicness when it's just, like, obvious sort of padding there. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll see if they continue to do that in the second half coming up. But, uh, yeah. It's also, like, as I said it before, but it's like, I, I just don't have much in the way of opportunity for commentary because, yeah, the fights are like, the fights are like, you just, I'm fighting, I'm concentrating on fighting. And it's also just the same every time, you know, I press the boost strikes, I press the arts, and that, that's about it. Uh, and then, aside from that, it's all just, like, long cutscenes. Like, we just had a bunch of dialogue just there, like, cooking and everything, and it's like, I don't want to, I hate interrupting the dialogue. I, I usually, I'll say a couple of things here and there, but I don't like, uh like talking over the characters but then that also means I'm not really able to say much so I feel like this is more of a watch along than anything at the moment like I don't know I, I I'm trying to think of ways that I could like I don't know add my own stuff to it more but I'm kind of drawing a blank so I hope I hope you understand uh where I'm coming from I, I apologize if you'd like some more commentary but I feel I just don't know I don't know what to say it's like yeah it's I've, I've sort of exhausted everything to do with combat 
that I can that can be said at this point. But uh, yeah, but uh, we will probably be finishing in either the next couple of parts or the couple of parts after that. I guess we can't be far away now, so. Not long to go. I'm excited to see how everything shakes out. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. If you have, if you could leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Share the videos around. Share the playlist around if you can. I would really appreciate that. And I'll see you next time for more Tales of Arise. Thanks for watching. See you then.